Hi guys. So I made, uh, I did this last night. I recorded a reaction last night. And I don't know what happened. It came out really choppy. So I couldn't upload it. And it was getting so late. So I'm up this morning doing it again. Uh, hold on one second. I have to have my chest fixed. <sighs> Otherwise, my lips stick together as I'm talking. So, anyway, this video, <clears throat> she's bringing out souvenirs of the time she spent together with Clint, I guess. And I think she's doing it to make somebody jealous, and I'm not sure if she's trying to make Clint's fiance or girlfriend jealous or what, but she's trying to make somebody jealous. She's not doing this just because she's, you know, reminiscing. No, she's trying to make somebody jealous. You could, you could tell she's doing this for a reason. So let's watch. She does come back, really. She really does. <laughs> that he bought me on our... What are you doing? Did Zip jump up there while I was gone? Oh. So... This was the first bottle of wine that he bought me on our first date. Wow. Yeah, I kept it. What was it, $10? This. this was the rose that he bought me on our first date when he came to my house with the wine and we had steaks. And I put it in a shadow box because I can talk about it now without crying. Does that mean it's progress? No. What does it mean? So this was the only, like, my ex-husband never really got me real roses, you know? He got the, the convenience store ones. But this one was very special. Oh, so you don't know where he got the rose to begin with. And why insult your ex-husband? Who fucking cares where the rose came from? The then, that counts, uh, dumb these are the get pictures of us. Oh, and then these are all the cards that he gave me. Hold on. Oops. I, I, I remember that day we had... I don't know if you can see me there. Oops, sorry. Oh. Notice how hard she tries not to show him. She keeps doing it. And then it almost doesn't even look like her. I can't believe that's even her. What happened to her? She looks... It's ten times different in there. Isn't that wasn't that a great picture? Yeah, I love that to picture. You. So then, these are like all of the cards and everything. I I didn't make this up. A very happy birthday to you. I love you. Have a great day. Do you know how much that what that felt like? I love you for someone to say, you know, uh, I love you. Have a great day that he loved me enough that my ex-husband never did that. Y'all remember when and he used to call me babe? It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you notice how she shakes her head? Did you see that? That's the type when you say something to another girl like, you go, well, why didn't he say that to you then? That's a typical trying to make somebody jealous move. And I don't, I don't know who she's trying to make jealous. I, I'm just thinking, you know, I can't, I could, in a way, see her trying to make her ex-husband jealous, but why? I, I almost think it's her. The 
Clint's fiance. Either way, what she's doing is stupid and tacky. Because if, by any chance, Clint's fiance is seeing this, she might be feeling some kind of way. You know, I mean, she's doing it for evil reasons, whatever she's doing it. Because if she wants to reminisce, she can reminisce on her own time in private. She doesn't have to be doing that. But that little tiny shake of the head is, is she's trying to do something and she's not trying to do it nicely. Nicely? Well, anyway. Um, it doesn't matter. Like, y'all don't. This was special to me, okay? This was very special to me. And that mattered to me. Good so, for you. are not over them, no, that's for damn sure. What has it been, two years or something? I've got, like, lots of other stuff, but... Almost? I mean, it, he said he loved me so much. How do I just, you know, I was just supposed to forget it, like it never happened in my life? When someone hurt me all the time and really hurt me? But see, I can verbalize it now and I can articulate it. I was not over my divorce. I was not healed. I wasn't in that mind space where Whoa. I could actually let go and live and enjoy and detach. I was in scarcity. I was in that other mindset. Okay, now, her marriage was supposedly, so she says, terrible. She felt trapped. She was hurt all the time. She was beat up all the time. She was almost murdered. All these terrible things, which we even know on Dr. Phil, he sat there and had her back and was defending her when the audience was laughing, when that other girl was saying things. He had her back. And, and you could see some of the videos that she made where he's looking at her lovely, lovely, how do you say it, loving, lovingly, and, you know, she didn't look unhappy in any of those pictures, but in, back to the divorce, why is it, was it she having a difficult time over her divorce if it was so terrible? If you are getting divorced and the marriage was so terrible, you'd be happy as hell. I know people have divorce parties because they're so happy. Why is it so hard? Why was it so hard, Trisha? And um, you know, I was just, I was so happy. Oh, I got a little more. Oh, well, joy. I guess, sort of. This is one of the, the hats that he gave me. And it still smells like them. And like the pillow and that. <sighs> you were fishing. <laughs> and he gave me his boonie hat. And I don't want anybody else's boonie hat. And it just, you know, it's like, oh, remember Elvis? Or who is it? You know, like artifacts from, I don't know. But I, I love it. I still love him. And. She um, really fell hard. Like, I never. I never like threw it away or anything, you know? Like my ex-husband, y'all saw what I did to my ex-husband stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty nasty. This is when- That's another thing. You did that because he didn't want you. That's why you did that shit. That's the only reason a woman will destroy their excess stuff is because they're angry that they don't want them. That's the whole thing. Well, I can't say I held on to like 
the things that mattered the most to me. And we used to play Nerf gun. We, we had Nerf gun fights. And so then when he broke up with me, everywhere were these damn Nerf things. I have like, whatever. And these were like all the rings that he made me. The little, he made me these like, we go out to eat like every time we go out to eat. Yeah, so she's got the real ring, but whatever. I have the real memories though. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't get a diamond ball. ring. I oh, she's got a diamond ring, but I got a Nerf ball. <laughs> I got a straw ring and I was happy with the straw ring. <laughs> and I, I, I put them, so when, when, um, when, and it, when it, like, he Cheney brought me for Christmas that year, and he made me a bracelet when he was, you know, stuff. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. It just kind of like, this was a rock. I know, I like rocks. But I picked up this rock when we were at a certain place at a certain time after we did a certain thing. And we were together and it was, um, it was really cold. And we shared a bottle of old, Ken uh, old Kentucky, old Tennessee smoke as uh, 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 um old oh my god my eyelids are old, blanket twitching oh 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 um oh <laughs> um all right move on who cares I can't even say it <sighs> salted caramel whiskey anyway but okay. uh, yeah it was the good stuff anyway and i remember i picked this up because it but anyway, there are just a little few memories of, of good memories. So I was really triggered on some bad shit that happened in my life. And I think I'm kind of like stuck on some good stuff. But it was my fault that this relationship ended because I was really immature. I would cry. I would act stupid because I let Paula and all of them get to me. Oh, bullshit. And I pushed. Blame it on someone. Your true self came out. That's what happened. Don't blame it on, on other people. Okay? Your true self came out and he didn't like it and that was it. Push him away because when I talk about YouTube and all that stupid stuff and he'd be like, I'm so sick of it, Trisha. I'm sick of you talking about YouTube. YouTube is not real life. Go get a real job. And now I've got a real job. Cleaning toilets. Damn. He left these at my house. We played cards. We played Scrabble. We played Scrabble, right? Don't remember what we played? Thought we did. Well, we did. Oh. <laughs> we did, because I kept the last score card that we played together. And he called me Glitter Tits, and I called him Cliff. <laughs> And it was a really long game of Scrabble, and it was so much fun, and every time that I tried to play Scrabble after that, I, I can't touch Scrabble. No. She fell hard for this guy. I mean, she really fell hard. For her to keep all this shit, I mean, Nerf balls and a score sheet, and stuff, you know, what is she, 40? She was what, 42 maybe then? 42 and a half? And, you know, for her to act like this, oh shit, I'm gonna stop. Um, yeah, she fell hard, but I'm sure it's not, I mean, she probably did talk about YouTube, she probably did talk about her little arguments going on, but I'm sure her, uh, the, 
narcissist side of her came out. I'm sure her, uh, she was probably clingy. Uh, I've read a lot of the old Trisha would come out and he probably couldn't take it. And she knows that she pushed him away. She admits it. So, um, yeah. You know, I'm just, uh, some other stuff he bought off of Amazon that I can't show y'all on here, but. Thank you. I know. I just, you know, so I was like, here's my little confessional, right? I was going through some stuff and I was just reminded of the best times of, of, of my life. I mean, he gave me a lot of things, but most importantly, most importantly, he gave me his heart. He gave me my heart and I never had that before. And I, I messed it up. Oh my God, quit smelling his hair. So oh missing. It's kind of like a death, you know? Like, my husband made me feel like I wanted to die. All those things that he did all the time, over and over and over again, day in and day out. And I acted up on the internet. I was so stupid, you know, like I still are. I was so stupid, like five years ago. It's not I never a thought, thought I would ever cat. experience what, you doing? what it'd be like to be loved by someone again. If ever, five years ago, I was a completely different person and it took how many years? I, I never loved someone, <laughs> I never loved someone so much, and I ruined it, it was my fault, and um, I, I was wrong, and I'm sorry, Ish, I wish with all of my heart, if I could go back, it would feel so amazing to be self-actualized, not living in scarcity, not having that immature mindset that I did because I didn't want him to go away. He said he wouldn't leave. He said he would never leave me, but I, I pushed him away. It was the most beautiful, besides my kids. You pushed them away was, too. Um, it was the most, I feel it, I feel it right here. Okay, Chewie, drag it down. It, I feel it right here and it hurt so bad. I never, ever, ever, I never, I, I never felt pain before like that. So I'll speed it up a little bit. I learned how to survive a lot of things. Oh my gosh, she smells his hat all through this. I just, I'm I really can't trying. Pick you up right now. And right now I'm really struggling. I want to drink a lot of alcohol, but I'm not. I, I didn't even drink anything but water today. I'm not, not when I'm like this. Oh, be because funny. then I end up calling. <laughs> oh, they say what I didn't have was real. They were the ones who messaged me and said he cheated on me. But I was insecure in my way of thinking. never loved like that and it hadn't left me it hadn't left me just so today was a really great day today that's was a, a really great day that's a I mean she um uh, 
goes on to apologize for what she did last year, getting drunk and saying the things she said. But in the beginning there, the thing she's doing, she's definitely trying to make somebody jealous. And it's just stupid. I don't even know why she's doing all this. Uh, I could see maybe this part, you know, but what she did in the beginning, it was she doing it to make somebody jealous. And I'm kind of leaning on the side of her ex-boyfriend's fiance. <clears throat> but I can also see her kind of doing it to get to her ex-husband. So I don't know. She's doing it for a reason. And I don't know what it is. But anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that. I got to get ready to go to work. Ugh, I hate it. It stresses me out so much. But, you know, got to live, right? So I'll see you guys later. Bye now.